Good day, everybody. I'm Jim Stavridis, the dean at the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy here at Tufts University on a beautiful fall day in October. And I'm here with my very good friend, Dr. Muhammad El Baradi. Now, I don't often get to say these words, but I'm going to say it right now. Um, welcome to a Nobel laureate. We're very, very lucky that Dr. El Baradi has agreed to spend this fall semester with us here at the Fletcher School. And of course, he brings with him an extraordinary background in the world of international relations, most notably his work in the uh, IAEA and the leadership role that he played there for many, many years. Um, Mohammed, welcome to our campus. It's great to have you here. Thank you very much, Jim. It's, uh, it's an honor for me to be here. And uh, as you kindly said, I could bring something here, but uh, I'm also very much aware that I can get a lot from Fletcher. I mean, the wealth of intellect you have here, the breadth of the interdisciplinary approach you adopt. The world has become so interconnected, and, uh, and I think you are you know, exactly the model for the future, that you have to take a, a completely big picture approach mm -hmm. if we are able to deal with the complex, to say the least, complex world yeah. we are living in right mm -hmm. now. So it's a great honor for me to be with you here, Jim, and with the students and the faculty. Well, I, I can tell you that, uh, Muhammad, you've already made a, a wonderful impact on Thanks. the campus with your openness and your willingness to discuss with students, with faculty, with media. We're very excited yeah. about it. One of the things we're doing uh, this fall is uh, taking a grant that we've gotten from the Carnegie Corporation, uh, which is called Bridging the Gap. And the idea of this grant is to take ideas that we generate here in our universities and apply them in the larger world. Now, you're someone who has been both in the academic world, but largely a practitioner throughout yeah. your life. Have any thoughts on how we can take these good ideas and move them into the world of policymakers? Well, I think you put your finger right on the major problem we are facing right now, Jim, and that is how to reach out to each other. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the problem we are facing is lack of understanding and therefore lack of trust, you know, mm -hmm. and how to bridge that gap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of brilliant ideas here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not rocket science in many ways. <laughs> it's just simply how to be able to understand what we have in common and to focus on what unites us and mm -hmm. not put the hammer or on what really separates us. I, I think academia right now needs to be very much uh, an advocacy you know, uh, group. Yes. Uh, not only you generate the ideas, but to proliferate the ideas, yeah. disseminate the ideas, and many of the conferences, symposia, colloquia you have here, mm -hmm. but I think you need to publish more, yeah. you, you need to organize more conferences, mm -hmm. you need to interact with the practitioners. Mm -hmm. I come from, mm -hmm. you know, a world of practitioners, and unfortunately, we don't, most of the time, we don't even have the time to step backward and yeah. think, you right. know, am I doing the right thing? Yes. Do I need to do something else? If you look at any of the problems we are having today, climate change, you know, uh, uh, arms control, uh, cyber security, mm -hmm. Ebola, any, you know, there is not uh, Afghanistan, you know, whatever uh, security, you know, structure. Uh, we have, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to say, we have a crisis of governance right now. States are not able on their own mm -hmm. to deal with this, you know, interconnected mm -hmm. uh, problems. International organizations, institution have become dwarfed into what they were in the 1940s. And we have a, a lacuna somewhere there. Yeah, I agree completely. One of the things we're doing along these lines, Mohammed, is sponsoring uh, Professor Dan Dresner uh, to put on a conference called the Ideas Industry. Yeah. And uh, he will bring together practitioners and scholars yeah. exactly as yeah. you're talking yeah. about. And I think this uh, kind of connection to fill in uh, this lacuna, as you call it, to create this connective tissue is something we can do here at the Fletcher School, and having someone like you here gives us the chance to do I'll, that. I'll be very happy. I mean, I spend a lot of my time trying to tell people that what we really need are, are just to a change of mindset, mm -hmm. and that's not very difficult to understand that we are all one human family, that yeah. we all have the same hopes and exactly. same aspirations, 
that uh, it's a, security is not a, a zero-sum game, exactly. that we need to understand the art of compromise. But I think coming here, frankly, yeah. give me the tools, you yeah. know, the intellectual tools. Give me the, you know, the way I can express these ideas in a simple way when needs be, in a complex way when I'm in a, in, among the intellectual exactly. elite. But, but we have a mission. I, I think we have a mission. It just goes beyond, you know, uh, having students, you know, prepare them to for for the 21st century, but in addition, try to create the environment for them to be able to build a, a better future. Uh, well, this is exactly mm -hmm. what we will do mm -hmm. together yeah. over the course of this semester. And um, welcome to the Fletcher School. And you bring a message of the common heritage of all mankind. Yeah. Together, we'll work on this. Thank at the you Fletcher very School. much. Thank it's you, great Mohammed. to be it's with great you. Great to have you here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.